all right, we have to figure out the solution for this system of inequalities right here. Now, this is different from a system of equations because if both of these were equations, there would only be one point, one x and y value that would work for both equations. However, because we're dealing with inequalities, there are many solutions that would satisfy both of these inequalities. So what we're going to do to solve is graph. So let's start with the first inequality. Y is less than one third x plus three. So we start by finding the y-intercept, which is at positive 3, which is right here. And then we're going to use our slope of positive 1 third to rise 1 and go over 3 and make another point. And we can do the same thing, go up 1 over 3. And then what we can do is just draw a line going through these points. Now we should notice that our line is a dotted line. That means that for this specific inequality, we cannot use any points directly on that line to satisfy the inequality. So let us go ahead and graph our second inequality. Now our y-intercept is at positive one, so we make a point right there, and we have a negative slope, so our rise is a negative rise. We're gonna go down one and over three and make a point, and down one over three and make a point, and then we make a line that is going through these points. Now we make that line solid because it says that y can be greater than or equal to. Whenever you have equal to as part of the inequality, any points directly in the line will satisfy that inequality. All right, now for our first inequality, it says that y is less than everything over here on the right. So when y is less than, what we do is we shade the region below our line where the y values are underneath that line. And for this inequality here, it says y is greater than or equal to. So what we're going to do is shade everything above this line. And what we should notice here is that where the blue and the yellow regions intersect, we have this green region right here. So we can take any point in this green region and plug those points into either one of our inequalities, and they will satisfy the system of inequalities. Also, what we should understand here is that with this line right here, we can use any points directly on this line right next to the shaded region because of our equal to sign. However, we cannot use any points on this line because it is a dotted line. So we can say that any point located in this green shaded region or directly on the solid line that borders the green region will satisfy our system of inequalities.